The National Iranian Oil Company, NIOC, plans to sign its first new oil and gas contract. Signing the new Iranian Petroleum Contract, or IPC, will encourage many major international oil companies to believe more contracts may soon be available for negotiation. IPCs are a main element of the country's strategic plan to raise crude oil production to 4 million barrels per day, the level of their pre-sanction output. The launch of new IPCs has been postponed several times previously under pressure from hardline rivals of President Hassan Rouhani. They adamantly denied foreign companies from owning any part of Iranian companies through the so-called buyback agreements. The NIOC will sign a contract with Sitad Ezrei Farman Imam, or Sitad, to develop the second phase of Uran field, plus oil recovery contracts for the Kupal oil field, says Ali Kardor, managing director of the NIOC. Iran's Tasnim news agency says the value of the new contracts was £2.5 billion. CTAD, one of Iran's most powerful organizations, is under the command of Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, the Islamic Republic's supreme leader. Earlier this year, in July, Khamenei said that new oil and gas contracts with international companies would not be awarded without necessary reforms. NIOC's Ali Kardor said it was made clear that no IPCs would be signed without a new form of contract, a contract that was approved of supreme leader Khamenei, and the oil minister Bijan Namdor Zangene. Major oil companies, including France's Total and Italy's Eni, said major changes were needed to any new contracts, saying that under the terms of contracts issued during the 1990s, they made little or no profit, sometimes even incurring losses.